We are live over Church Street, where the GTA's large and vibrant LGBTQ community continues to celebrate tonight as Pride Month wraps up. But we are also following breaking news from Young Street, where Black Lives Matter has disrupted the Pride Parade for a second straight year. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter has not halted the parade as it did in 2016, nor has it appeared to have made any new demands. Instead, the group is marching to promote some of the changes implemented by Pride Toronto following the demands they made last year. They include the doubling of the funding for the Blockorama event and, of course, the ban of uniformed police officers at the parade itself. Good evening. This disruption occurred as the Pride Parade was winding down. Tens of thousands of people lined the route this afternoon for one of the world's largest pride parades and that included the prime minister and his family but there was a notable absence this year uniformed toronto police officers were banned by organizers following a demand by black lives matter so some officers attended an alternate alternative event today while others went to new york city to march in the pride parade we will have more on that in a moment but first CTV's Miranda Anthesol joins us. And Miranda, there was much talk at the parade today about the ongoing controversy over excluding uniformed officers. Well, Andrea, it was on the minds of many. We spoke to uniformed officers who were here at the parade doing just security. They weren't actually participating because they have been banned from that. Now, they say they received a lot of positive comments from the crowd. However, those in the crowd we spoke to say they are against it, but some are also for it. And the group at the heart of the matter, Black Lives Matter, who demanded that uniformed officers be banned from the parade, well, like we saw, they actually showed up today. <laughs> Toronto's Pride Parade is as colourful as the city is diverse, but the main message is simple. All the love in the air and seeing people united, and no matter what gender, race, sexual orientation, we all need to just come together and love the world, love each other. Thousands marched along Young Street as even more people cheered from the sidelines, many from out of town. It's so welcoming, and uh, so we're sort of Trump refugees. It's amazing, and we're having a ball because of it. Just the diversity is unreal. The thing I'm looking forward to most and why I'm standing right here is Justin Trudeau. Um, better than man crush. The Prime Minister, a crowd favourite as he walked with his wife Sophie to kick off the parade. And leaders from all levels took part. We are blessed to live in this country. We're blessed to live in this province. We are an inclusive society and you know what? It's hard to find this anywhere else in the world. This is the Pride Parade, 36 years making its way through the streets of downtown Toronto. Every year it gets bigger and better. This year, more than 150 groups are making their way down Young Street, but it hasn't been without controversy. This year, uniformed police were strictly in attendance for security purposes. After Black Lives Matter interrupted last year's parade, presenting a list of demands, including the removal of uniformed officers taking part. We're strongly of that belief, uh, at least in uniform and at least with guns. I think we want to see police involved and that's fine, but there needs to be some limitations and guidelines placed on that participation. I don't necessarily agree with the approach that Black Lives Matter did, however I do support their mission and I do believe that there should be a lot more inclusion within the parade. Although Black Lives Matter didn't sign up to be in this year's parade, they showed up with signs saying, may we never again need to remind you that we are here. Yet despite the controversy and wet start to the day, the crowd partied on, determined not to let anything rain on this Pride Parade. So the parade is over, but the party is far from being done. We're here on Church Street. We'll have more from people partying along here in just a bit. But for now, Andrea, I'll send it back to you.